Hello everybody, welcome to Swati's Kitchen. Today let's make a yummy and very flavorful dessert. Mango is one of my favorite fruits and I'm going to make something very interesting with mango today. It's a yummy dessert, mango jelly panna cotta shots. It sounds complicated but it's very easy to put together. You can make everything ahead of time and put it into the refrigerator and it would be a great dessert idea for your next upcoming party or any get together. So let's see the ingredients and start the recipe. So for the mango panna cotta layer, here I got half a cup of freshly extracted mango pulp. If you want, you can even use the canned ready-made mango puree also. Three quarter cup of heavy cream, three tablespoons of sugar. You can adjust this sugar according to the sweetness of the mango. One and a half teaspoons of agar powder. For the mango jelly layer, I got here one and a half cups of mango juice. This is freshly extracted mango juice. I have taken half cup of mango pulp and added one cup of water. Blended them together and passed it through a sieve to remove all the fibers. So the result would be like this. It's nice and smooth. It comes to one and a half cups few pieces of mango just for garnish, three tablespoons of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of agar powder and you also need some whipping cream. So first I'm going to start by making the mango jelly layer. So here I got the agar agar powder. We are going to mix it with the water so that it will be properly combined and later when you mix it with the mango mixture it will be dissolved properly. I'm using agar agar powder to set my panna cotta because this is a nice awesome vegetarian substitute for your gelatin. So you can find this online. I generally buy it online on Amazon. Uh, you can even find it on health food stores as well. So I'm going to mix this with some water. I'm going to add in the agar agar powder. So just nicely mix it so that it's nicely completely dissolved you cannot use this mixture directly we are going to cook this mixture so for that here I got a saucepan medium sized I'm going to turn on the heat to medium so I'm going to add in the mango juice we'll also add in the agar mixture and some sugar so as this is agar powder, it will be cooked very fastly. If you are using agar agar flakes or even agar sheets, you just want to dissolve it in water first before adding into the mixture and you have to basically soak it in water for at least 10-15 minutes so that it just softens up and you can use it in this mixture. But this one will be done in just 2 minutes. So keep mixing and cook for just a minute or two. The mixture should come to a boil. If you want a real bright color, you can even try using some artificial food color. But I just prefer it to be nice and natural, just the way it is. So as you can see, it's nicely coating the back of the spoon. So this is how you want it, just turn off the heat. So I'm going to set this panna cotta and even the jelly mixture in a diagonal slant pattern in the shot glasses. So I just like to cool this mixture so that it becomes warm, not cold completely because you don't want the mixture to be set. Agar agar sets the mixture at room temperature. So I just want to uh, cool slightly because I want to transfer this mixture into the squeeze bottle and then pipe into the shot glasses to give that specific beautiful slant pattern. The mixture has slightly cooled down. We'll transfer this into a nice squeeze bottle. So as I told you, I'm going to give a nice slant pattern to this jelly. So for that, I have arranged these nice cute shot glasses in a slanting position in a cupcake tray like this. Later, we are going to set this in the same position in the refrigerator. We'll now gently squeeze this mixture so that it's filled halfway through. So this mixture, you need to leave it 
at the room temperature or you can just pop it into the refrigerator for 30 minutes so that this layer is nicely set while transferring this pan into the refrigerator be very careful so that you don't shake them you don't disturb the layer so while that's setting in the refrigerator let's start by making the actual panna cotta layer i'm going to use the same pan in which i cooked the jelly layer so we'll turn it on to medium and we'll add it the mango pulp so we'll cook this for a minute so this intensifies the flavor of mango and it also brightens the color if you cook the mango pulp first so i just like to do it this way while the mango mixture is getting done there we'll mix the agar agar powder with some water mix everything nicely until combined and we'll keep this aside so now look at this it has become nice and bright and even thicker now we'll add in the cream sugar and the agar agar mixture that we just dissolved so mix everything well so we need to cook this until you see tiny bubbles around the pan so this doesn't take much time at all so i'm going to turn off the heat and while boiling the cream mixture if you want to flavor this you can add some cardamom or even saffron it adds a lovely flavor but i just like to keep it nice and simple today so i want this mixture to cool slightly then we are going to pipe it into the set jelly layer so the mixture has slightly cooled off we'll now transfer this into the squeeze bottle if you want you can even pass this mixture through a fine sea so look at that it has created a beautiful pattern it is nicely set i have turned them the other way around i'm going to squeeze this panna cotta mixture on top so i'm going to carefully pop this into the refrigerator you can even leave it on the counter it sets beautifully even on the counter i have here 3 quarter cup of heavy cream into which we'll be adding couple of tablespoons of powdered sugar or icing sugar or confectioner sugar we'll flavor this with few drops of vanilla and beat till stiff peaks so that's our stiff peaks we'll transfer the whipped cream mixture into the piping bag we'll start piping and garnish with few pieces of mango and that's ready We'll garnish all the remaining shot glasses the same way. They are looking amazing, isn't it? Awesome. So let me try this. This one is looking amazing. It's yummy. It's not overly sweet. It has a perfect balance of sweetness with the creamy panna cotta it's yummy so do try this and enjoy it with your family thanks for watching take care bye